Today is November 5th, Saturday, riding through the Grove. I'm going to go to the Home Depot. Here's Eileen's uh, kiosk over there. That's where the mural is I showed you the other day. So I'll do a little talking tour as I take my bike ride. And I'm going to go through uh, Sarnoff Circle and Sarnoff Park, that neighborhood, because it's convenient. It's on the way to the Home Depot. And I'll talk about uh, a week ago Saturday. I'd also like to talk about my mental state and the use of propane as a recreational tool or as a coping mechanism. The wind noise may be too much, I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, I've been inhaling propane off and on since the year 1969. I believe that's about 42 years. It does not cause brain damage, heart attack, stroke, cancer. It does do something since I've been using it heavily the past few years. I no longer have any joint pain, no more arthritis pain except in my back. I used to wake up every morning feeling like I've been run over by a truck, like a lot of people my age do. You know, joint stiffness and just you ache and you hurt. It's one of the reasons I was a, a, a regular light user of cocaine, because it gave me hours of relief. No pain when you do cocaine. But of course it's addictive and it has, it's expensive and it has side effects and it's not legal. So, I do the propane. If I don't do the propane, within a few days there are no withdrawal side effects, nothing like that. Then my joint pains come back. My overall health is better doing the propane than without it. And besides, it's fun. It gets you high, like drinking a beer does, only in a different way. It makes you verbally aggressive. So when I'm laying there in that invalid chair at home and having nothing to do but recall horrors of being beaten, terrorized, mugged, gunned to the head, I may write terrible emails and make nasty phone calls, but it doesn't make me physically violent makes me feel angry, indignant at the injustices that have been done, not just to me, but I know many other people have been victimized, but they've gone silent. Now we're on Virginia. We're heading towards Sarnoff Circle, and I'm just going to ride quietly through. You know, Mark says I stalk him, and I stalk him. No, I don't. I like to ride the bicycle, and this is a pleasant way to go. I like to go through his neighborhood. It's a pretty neighborhood, and sometimes he's out walking his dog, or his wife is out walking, and that's it. I've never yelled at Mark. I've never yelled at Teresa. I, first time I saw her out here by chance was last April. And it was uh, just an absolute chance meeting. So I doubled back and I said, hello, Teresa. I guess, I, was, I guess Mark is missing me. I'm missing Mark. I was facetious. But that's not stalking. And another time I was here, the Miami Herald said, uh, or one of, the, one of the news agencies said, well, uh, angrily confronted a neighbor in front of Sarnov's home. Well, that's not really true. I parked my bike and was ready to do pictures of a sign removal action. That was, which video was that? Sarnoff signs number three, I think it was. And uh, the old lady with the perambulator was coming around the corner and she glared at me. And every time I see her in the past, she always shouts an obscenity and says, I'm going to call the cops on you. The first time I did a sign removal action in front of her house, this is where I had the confrontation with the old lady. I wasn't confronting her. I was over here. She was there, so we were far away. But it was just a verbal thing. I said, hello, lady. You gonna call the cops on me again today? She says, you're scaring me. So, I don't scare women. But she did, uh, when I first removed the signs. Here's Mark's house. Okay, well, let me stop the bike. And then I'll talk quietly, I need a rest. Uh, when I first met perambulator lady, I called her. I was pulling two signs from, uh, a corner property. They were on the parkway and they were illegal. And she saw me, she was at a distance and apparently that's her yellow house. And so she approached me and she said, I'm calling the cops. You can't take my property, that's my property. I said, yeah, I can take them. They're, they're on public right of way. You, you cannot put signs on public property, okay? They're not legal. I don't care about the law, I'm calling the cops. And she called the cops on me right then and there. So next, another time I saw her, I said, hello, perambulator lady. She said, up your ass. So when I greeted her a couple months ago here, 
I didn't feel like being too friendly to her. Anyway, here's where I, I pulled the signs for the first and only time. For, they'd been here for months, and I'd been telling Mark for months that I was going to remove the signs if he didn't make them legal and put them up by the house. So last Saturday, I made my, my tool, the, the hook on the, on, the, on the stick, and uh, pulled the signs clumsily. Then I, uh, I walked my bicycle. I had left my bicycle parked. My bicycle was parked over here, right here. Here's where my bicycle was parked. And uh, I lashed it to the little tree, and I, and I put the pole up against the palm here, and I test painted uh, one of the signs to see that, to see that the Krylon would work. And got off my bike and, like I say, lashed it to the tree. And uh, you saw me do the little testing the spray paint. And then I took the can of paint and the, and the loose sign in the left hand and walked up the sidewalk like this. And I said, now I'm going to paint out the sign. So let's recreate that exactly. Pardon me for being a little out of breath. They're pretty blue flowers. Okay, so here's the sign. He's got it back up. So Mark, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? No, it's not, buddy. You want to be on YouTube? Anyway, these people are Nazis. So anyway, I painted out the sign. Okay, and the lady was crabbing at me from over there. She was on that sidewalk, like on the, on, I guess on this side of the hedge where the white car just passed, where I'm pointing at the little oak tree. <coughs> she might have been that close. And uh, she's crabbing at me, so I, I put down the, uh, the camera was on the ground still, but I had the can of paint in my hand, but I didn't have the sign in my hand. I put the, the sign down. I came over here, but I guess I had the can of paint and a sign, and I put the sign down. I had the can of paint here, and I'm right here, about right here, and I'm trying to talk to her, and she's there. So how far away is that? She's on the sidewalk. That's like 30 feet away. And I said, yes, I can do it. Sure, I can do it. And suddenly... I'm on my back. I'm on my back. I'm, I'm here in the dirt with Mark on top of me. Right right here. Right here. Now, isn't that nice? The neighbors are watching me. They're all curious. So this is just documentary, just to show my mental state is normal. I get a little shaky and nervous when people say, give it up, give it up, it's over. And the son of a bitch has left the sign up. He scrubbed it clean. You know, they're just so defiant. Well, I'm going to come and paint that black, OK? in the middle of the night. All right, I've done my little, you guys got an idea now of the layout. Mark had me pinned to the, to, the, to the ground there. I hit my hand on the pavement. I seem to remember being on the pavement, but my back was covered with leaf litter, so I had to be on that, on that curving swale. And he was on top of me and he says, that's it, Reed. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. And I said, Mark, think. Think, Mark. I think if you kill me, you'll be in jail forever. As it is, you've only ended your career. Think, Mark. And I, he had knocked the can out of my hand instantly. We both got our hands well painted that way. And I held him until the rage subsided enough that he suddenly got up and stalked away. Of course, he says to the media, he says to everybody, I calmly held him down until authorities arrived. It's a lie. But I really, I really, it, it really frosts my cake when a neighbor says, who comes by, says, give it up, give it up. You're not going to get justice. That's what he was saying in effect. They saw it, but you know, there are going to be a lot of people who witnessed and will not witness, and they'll just, they'll just perjure. So, Saturday in the park. I'm off to Home Depot.